Hello, my name is Ashley Priori. And my name is Alyssa Oketo. And our title of our research project is Differential Expression of Nectin Proteins in Human Breast Cancer Cell Lines. As shown in box two, nectins are cell adhesion molecules involved in tissue organization and innate immunity. They are also used as receptors by various viruses, such as herpes simplex virus, for viral entry. As shown in box three, natural killer cells, also called NK cells, aid in innate immunity as well and attack cancer cells if given activation signals. When nectins on tumor cells bind to certain receptors on NK cells, they can give both inhibitory or activating signals, and therefore, NK cells also use nectins as receptors to aid in regulating NK cell activity. Furthermore, nectins are frequently overexpressed in cancer cells and thus have emerged as major markers of tumorigenesis. This overexpression inhibits oncolytic activity of NK cells and thus leads to higher metastatic growth. Therefore, identifying the roles of nectins, in particular nectin-1 in tumor genesis, and defining the NK cell receptors to which nectins bind to, are of utmost importance for checkpoint inhibition therapy, which aims to block negative signals and thus activate NK cells in fighting against cancer. To date, we have successfully identified differential expression of four nectins on the surface of five human breast cancer cell lines, and shown that nectin-1 and nectin-4 are the most expressed and each accumulate at cell contacts to reflect their functional role in cell adhesion. Because of these data, we are particularly interested in the roles of nectin-1 and nectin-4. The goals of our research laboratory moving forward are to use our expression data to determine the roles of nectins in NK cell recognition and adhesion to breast cancer cells. In the near future, we would also like to characterize inhibitors of nectin-mediated recognition of NK cells. As shown in box four, the five human breast cancer cell lines that we have examined are characterized by two hormone receptors and one human growth factor receptor. Clinically, if a cancer cell line has triple negatives for all three receptors, it is more resistant to available treatments. The two methods we have used in our laboratory to identify differential expression of nectins are flow cytometry and immunofluorescence assays. Referring to box five, we use flow cytometry as a semi-quantitative method by using a fluorescent secondary antibody called GAM-PE to determine the amount of proteins that are expressed on the cell surface. To create the histograms, the cells were gated using size-dependent values to eliminate debris and aggregates. From the histogram, we were able to determine that nectin-1 with our CK41 antibody and nectin-4 with our HN4 antibody are both highly expressed on the majority of our five breast cancer cell lines. For nectin-1 with our CK41 antibody, we noticed an above 40% positive for our SKBR3, MCF7, and BT474 cell line, and an above 20% positive for our MDA, MB468, and 231 cell lines. For both nectin-1 with our HN1 antibody and nectin-2 with our MP9 antibody, we obtained a negative for all five breast cancer cell lines. We believe this was due to a faulty antibody stock, and we plan on using alternate antibodies to test nectin-2 again. We were able to conclude that not all antibodies work equally well and that human breast cancer cell lines express nectin differently. Referring to box six, we used immunofluorescence assay as a qualitative method by using a red fluorescent secondary antibody called GOAT anti-mouse Alexa 594 to determine the location of nectin proteins in the cells and tissues. As noted from our flow cytometry analysis, our two highly expressed antibodies, CK41 and HN4, showed the strongest accumulation of nectin-1 and nectin-4 respectively between the cells. The accumulation of fluorescence at cell-to-cell -cell contact reflect the ability of nectins to interact functionally at intercellular junctions. Despite a positive by flow cytometry, MDA MB231 cells did not demonstrate a, a strong positive stain by immunofluorescence assay. We also must note that not all cell-to-cell -cell contacts show accumulation of these nectins. In the future, we would like to determine the expression of nectin-2 by using a better antibody than the MP9 antibody we used in this experiment. We plan on obtaining an, a human nectin-3 antibody to analyze possible nectin-3 expression on these cell lines, as well as observe the accumulation of NK cell receptors for nectin proteins as cell contacts between NK cells in our cancer cell lines in a mixed cell culture experiment. The mixed culture will help us determine if NK receptors are recruited to the immunological synapse by nectin expression on human breast cancer cells.